Welcome to Introduction to Accounting, Preparing for a User's Perspective. Liquidity Ratios, Quick Ratio, Working Capital, Cash Conversion Cycle. Liquidity Ratios, Quick Ratio. To address some of the failings of the current ratio, the finance industry developed another liquidity ratio called the Quick Ratio, also known as the Quick Assets Ratio or the Acid Test Ratio. The Quick Ratio is a stricter, more conservative test of a company's true liquidity because it removes inventory from current assets in the numerator of the ratio. Inventory is left out of the calculation because it can often take many months to convert into cash and is much less liquid than other current assets. It then uses the remaining more liquid current assets to cover all of its current liabilities. The quick ratio is computed as follows. Current assets less inventories divided by current liabilities. Let's compute LAC's quick ratios for 20x1 and 20x2. As you can see, we've only highlighted the most liquid current assets leaving out inventory, and we have all current liabilities. For 20x1, the computation is $32,000 of most liquid current assets divided by $23,000 of current liabilities. For 20x2, it's $41,000 divided by $17,000. As you can see, in 20x2, the company is more liquid than it was in 20x1. What does the quick ratio tell us and what does it not tell us? The 20x2 quick ratio of 2.41 indicates that LAC's most liquid assets should be readily able to provide $2.41 of cash to help it pay off each $1 of cash demanded by its current liabilities. LAC appears to be very liquid in 20x2. By taking inventory out of the quick ratios numerator, we are able to eliminate the cash flow timing issues brought on by inventories. However, because the quick ratio still includes accounts receivable, whose true future collection date is not perfectly known, the quick ratio will always just be an estimate of a company's liquidity. In the biz stats table for the dairy products industry above, the average quick ratio was 0.14 compared to the average current ratio of 0.71. Because the dairy industry's quick and current ratios are so different, it appears that a significant amount of the dairy industry's current assets are tied up in inventory. If you are interested in learning more about the quick ratio, feel free to watch the investopedia.com video titled, What is the Quick Ratio?